It's a poster that has shocked some, equating Muslim minarets with deadly missiles. But here in Switzerland, there's a growing campaign to ban mosque towers from the country's picturesque landscape. The poster itself has been banned in three cities for being racist and dangerous. But this campaign has even so got so far that the country's actually going to the polls today to vote on whether minarets should be banned in Switzerland. This vote is tapping into long-held anxieties about Islam that have been rippling across Europe recently, ranging from French fears of women in burqas to Dutch alarm over the murder of a filmmaker whose work criticized Islam. The polls are showing increasing support for the proposal to ban minarets, which came originally from the anti-immigrant Swiss People's Party. So far, Muslims in Switzerland have kept a low profile, refraining from a counter-campaign. Tana Hatipoglu is the president of the Federation of Islamic Organizations in Zurich. The initiators have achieved something everyone wanted to prevent, and that is to influence and change the relations to Muslims and their social integration in a negative way. On Thursday, with tensions running high ahead of the vote, the Geneva Mosque was vandalized, a pot of pink paint thrown at the building's entrance. It was the third incident against the mosque this month. Hatipoglu says that Muslims in Switzerland are worried. We are frightened, and if the atmosphere continues to be like this, and if the anti-Islamic haste increases, then the Muslims indeed will not feel safe anymore. This, of course, is very unpleasant. Business leaders say a minaret ban would be disastrous for the Swiss economy because it could drive away wealthy Muslims who bank in Switzerland, buy the country's luxury goods and go to its resorts. But that hasn't deterred the Swiss People's Party, which has led several campaigns against foreigners, including a proposal to kick out entire families if one of their children breaks the law. The UN has said that if the yes vote is carried, Switzerland will be violating international conventions. But proponents of the ban say the minaret represents a bid for power and it isn't just a religious symbol. <laughs> I refuse the initiative. It's against Swiss law and against what I believe. It's against the freedom of religion, so I voted against it. Donc, euh, voté contre initiative. Je suis, euh, par cette... I'm shocked by this initiative. By this answer, I've given you my position. I'm against this initiative because I think it's intolerance. Parce que je trouve de intolerance. A survey by a respected polling institute in Switzerland last week indicated that 53% of voters do reject the initiative, although support for it has grown by three percentage points to 37% in just one month.